Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top 10 jewelry companies in the world. When it comes to relative value for size, both tangible and sentimental, jewelry is in match, crafted using rare earth materials that tend not to depreciate. Pieces of jewelry are symbolic and innately human. Wedding bands note marriage and inheritance reinforce family identity. Even political power find expression through mayoral livery colors, crowns, and papal rings. Jewelry making is one of the oldest forms of art, predated only by the cave paintings and clay sculpture. While the earliest examples date back as far as 100,000 BC, when prehistoric humans constructed crude beads made from snail shells. Today's pieces are more elaborate as the human imagination will allow. Today, the jewelry industry is worth estimated of 221 billion US dollars worldwide, a number that is predicted to grow as Asian economies continue to expand. Now here is the list of the 10 largest jewelry companies in the world by revenue in US dollar, six of which are owned by families. Tenth on our list is Harry Winston country of origin, United States of America. The revenue way back in 2011 was about 279 million US dollar. Known as the King of Diamonds in the US, Harry Winston established his eponymous New York Atelier in 1932. He quickly gained notoriety as the Jewelers to the Stars. Traveling the world in search of rare and precious uncut gemstones, Harry Winston was internationalized by opening his first overseas salon in Geneva, Switzerland way back in 1955, and followed it up with another in Paris, France shortly after. With the founder's death in 1978, Harry Winston company passed to the second generation, Ronald and Bruce. Ronald eventually bought his father out for 54 million US dollar way back in 2000, despite selling to the Swatch Group in 2013 for almost a whopping price of 1 billion US dollar. Harry Winston remains synonymous with fine jewelry and maintains 40 concept stores around the world. Ninth on the list is Chopin. Country of region, Switzerland. Revenue way back in 2018 was 800 million US dollar. Founded in 1860 by Louis Ulysse Chopin, the brand is famous for producing luxury jewelry and timepieces for women. It counts some of the world's most famous actors as its patron. While the company's headquarters remain in Geneva, Switzerland, it has been owned by the German Schuffel family, who are also renowned watchmakers since 1963. Prior to the transition, the company was run by Louis Yulis' son, Paul Louis Chapeau, and a grandson, Paul Andre, who took the company over in 1943. When the fourth generation was unwilling to take the leadership role, Paul Andre was forced to look elsewhere. Chopin's owner Carl Schiffel has a personal net worth of 1.9 billion US dollar as of March 2019. His two children, Caroline and Carl Friedrich, continue to act as co-president. Eight on our list is the Pandora Jewelers, country of origin, Denmark. Revenue way back in 2017 was 3.47 billion US dollar. Pandora began in 1982 with one family-owned jewelry store in Copenhagen, Denmark. 
Now they boast a network of over 2,400 concept stores worldwide. Founded by the Danish goldsmith Fur Enneveldsen and his wife Dan Winnie Enneveldsen, Pandora started as an import business, bringing jewelry pieces from Thailand to sell to a loyal European customer base. Eventually, Daniel Obsen built a large manufacturing site in the Southeast Asian country, allowing them to sell their popular assortment of ring, necklaces, and earrings to the mass market. In 2008, Danish private equity group Axel purchased a 60% stake in the business and shares totaling of 1.8 billion US dollar were sold in October of 2010, making it at one of the biggest IPOs in Europe at that year. Pandora's popularity has surged in the wake of the celebrity endorsement. In 2018, it posted a net profit of 2.58 billion US dollar worldwide. Seventh on the list is Chow Tai Fu, country of origin Hong Kong. Revenue way back in 2018 was 3.7 billion US dollar. Founded in 1929 in Guangzhou, China. This Hong Kong based privately owned conglomerate is also engaged in the property development like hotels transportation, energy, and telecommunication. The group, however, is still best known for its jewelry, especially in mainland China, where according to its interim report way back in 2018 and 19, it has an over 2,000 retail outlets alone. Its founder's son, Shou Yu Tong, recently died at the age of 91 in 2016. The group is now in the hands of his son, Mr. Henry Chang. In the six months to September 30, 2018, he oversaw a year-on-year -year increase in the core operating profit of 24.7% to 2.9 billion Hong Kong dollar, which is approximately 369.4 million US dollar. Six on the list is the Tiffany & Co. Country of origin USA. Revenue way back in 2018 was 4.17 billion US dollar. The iconic American jeweler, better known as the Tiffany's, is headquartered in New York City and was founded in 1837 by Charles Louis Tiffany and John B. Young. Entrenched in the lexicon of the American pop culture thanks to the 1961 Aubrey Hepburn film Breakfast at Tiffany's, Tiffany's location currently occupies some of the most sought after real estate globally. As of 2018, the company had 321 locations worldwide, of which 124 are in North and South America. Early in 2019, CEO Alessandro announced sales that were sort of expectations, declining during all important holidays period that ended in December 31st way back in 2018 by 1% to 1.4 billion US dollar. Fifth on the list is the Rajas Export. Country of origin India. Revenue way back 2018 is 4.7 billion US dollar. Rajas Export specializes in export of gold and the sale of gold jewelry. Founded in 1989 by the current executive chairman Rajas Mehta and his brother Prashant, the Rajas was ranked of 405th on the Fortune Global 500 way back in 2017. Headquartered in Bangalore, the company refines over 35% of the world gold according to its latest investor presentation information. It also claims to be the world's largest manufacturer of gold jewelry, which cements its position in India, where gold is culturally significant. 
In 2015, the company acquired the Swiss gold refinery Balcambi SA for 400 million US dollar, bringing its total refining capacity to 2,400 tons annually. Fourth on our list is Kati, country of origin France. Revenue way back in 2018 was 7.4 billion US dollar. Almost by a word for luxury, Cartier was founded by Louis-François Cartier in Paris way back in 1847 and remained under the family's control until 1964. Now a subsidiary of the Swiss Richmond Group, Cartier operates more than 300 boutiques in 125 countries. Forbes ranked it as the 59th most valuable brand in the world way back in 2018, with a brand value of 10.6 billion US dollar. Third novelist is Signet, country of origin USA, the largest retailer of diamond jewelry in the world. Signets operates more than 3,300 retail locations worldwide, trading under the milieu of different brand names, including K Jewelers, Sales, H. Samuel, and Persing Pagoda. Founded in 1949, the group previously Ratter expanded via a series of acquisition through the 1980s and 90s. It also moved its headquarters from United Kingdom to the United States in September 2008, changing its primary stock listing from London to New York Stock Exchange. Second on the list is Chanel, country for region. France. Revenue way back 2017 was 9.6 billion US dollar. Another privately owned luxury goods conglomerate, Chanel began as a house of Chanel in Paris way back in 1909. When Gabrielle Coco Chanel opened a millionaire on the ground floor of her lover's flat, offering chic simplicity in a place of convoluted late 19th century aesthetics. Coco Chanel catered to women's taste for elegance in fashion and accessories, including a line of jewelry which continues to this day. Today, Chanel operates over 300 concept stores worldwide and retains some of the world's most famous women as brand ambassadors. First on the list is Louis Vuitton country of origin, France. Revenue way back 2017 was 52.9 billion US dollar, a multinational luxury goods conglomerate based in Paris. The result of a 1987 merger between fashion house Louis Vuitton and rings brand Moet Hennessy. The French company's portfolio includes 70 iconic brands, making it the market leader in fashion, leather goods, wine and spirit, perfumes and cosmetics. Its flagship jewelry brands include Vulgari, Hublot, De Beers, and Tag Ewer. A family-owned company boasts a robust retail presence around the world. Its chairman and CEO Bernard Arnold is France's richest man, with an estimated personal net worth of 95 billion US dollars.